What is going on you guys? This is Shone, this is Peter, and this is Sergi. And we are going to show you how to compute for the other kill clearance. Oh baby, a triple! So what is the under kill clearance? is defined as the distance between the keel of your vessel to below the, the seabed. So we have here our illustration shown here. So uh, our depth is the distance between the waterline and the seabed. And the draft here is shown as our waterline to the lowest keel of our vessel. And we have here our UPC or our under keel clearance which is shown as our distance from the ship's keel until the seabed or the seafloor of the ocean. In finding for our underkeel clearance calculation, we have to find this on board in our loading condition. So this is found under the authority of the chief officer or the chief mate. So in our situation right here, we are going to find for the forward draft, aft draft, and the main draft. In our given example, our forward draft is 6 meters, our aft draft is 7.5, and our main draft is 6.75. So we already have the value of our forward draft, aft draft, and our main draft. We need now to get the values of our safety depth, safety contour, shallow contour, and deep contour. In order to find the value of our safety depth, we need to refer to our company's SMS or Safety Management System which in our case, we have the 50% at the open sea, 15% at the coastal, and 10% at the port or harbors. Safety contour shall descend greater than descent safety depth. Shallow contour shall descend less than the set safety depth and deep contour shall be set greater than 15 to 20 meters or more. So in our given situation, we have an open sea, which is 50%. Now we have to find for our safety depth. In order for us to do this, we have to find first for our competition to take the deeper draft. Our aft draft which is the deeper one, we take 7.5 meters. This is then multiplied to 0.5 as the percentage from the open sea. The answer of this would be 3.75 meters. This value is then added to your aft draft and would result in 11.25 meters or 11.25 meters and this is then our set safety depth and since some ECDIS manufacturers do not conform to decimal values these are rounded up to the next value which is 12 meters Now that we have our safety depth, we shall fill up our safety contour which is greater than the set safety depth and we have 1-3 meters. Our shallow contour which is less than the set safety depth would be 1-0 meters and our deep contour in this situation would be 2-0 meters. Okay. Thank you for watching our video and we hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to share it with us in the comment section down below. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more updates. We hope to see you soon and watch for more videos regarding each of our topics. That is all. Peace.